Because that's new to YouTube, it's your man, all the way to page, a.k.a. Um, the Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, as you know, the other day was the um, New York Pro, and it was the first show where they had female bodybuilding. As you know, most of the other shows that's been going on, but most of them have been, um, you know, the other con uh, divisions such as um, physique and, um, you know, bikini, the men's divisions. But this was the first show we had actual the uh, female bodybuilding in it, especially the representation of wing strength. So anyway, you had it was as you know, if I, you saw my video I did um a, a couple of days ago, you had a small um you know lineup this year. You know, notably um only five ladies for the women's um uh, physique division. I mean, women's um, bodybuilding division, and um the big person that was probably the talk was. Possibly, uh, and also you had six women for the um, physique division, you know, so that was a pretty small lineup. Mostly what it is, like most ladies are still prepping um, for the season. Some ladies are waiting for more of the bigger shows like the uh, Tampa, the Puerto Rico, where you get more points and more opportunities, really. Um, you know, I think Tampa, Chicago, uh, Puerto Rico, those shows are usually um, more opportunities to uh, uh get to the Olympia, uh, you know, especially with the points. So anyway, um, the big talk was that possibly this was probably another a shot for um, LaDon McDay. But um, LaDon didn't look as good as she should last year compared to when she went to Tampa. Now, the person that was really noticeably good is Leah Denny. And, and uh, from, the, from what I've seen from the pictures, of it, for, especially for a woman who's especially around was, uh, in her, um, ooh, wow, in around her 50s. You know, she looks amazing. I mean, I think she's like, she's she's up there, you know, and um, surprisingly, she looked pretty good. I mean, I have I've, some of the women who I follow told me that some of these older women are putting some of these young women to shame. And that's, that's getting to be true. And you can see some of the difference between um, LaDon and um, Sing Leah. I mean, you can really see it. And, and, you know, both of them are a form of physique competitors. LaDon did start a career as a physique, and she went to bodybuilding. The same with... Um, uh, Leah and I think Leah, you know, she came with a great um, um, presentation. Uh, Ladon just needed a little more work. Maybe she jumped too soon. She probably needed more time. Maybe she should have shot for either Puerto Rico or the Tampa or maybe the Omaha. One of those shows probably would have been a better shot for her. And then you had the showdown between the up and comer um, Alicia uh, Kelsing and um, versus uh, Sh uh, Shanika uh, Henson, who has been out for a couple of years. And there was more people talking that more than I can, um, Hinton was going to be the winner in this show. And because, you know, she's, you know, came, uh, she was a second runner up at the, um, um, Arnold Classic behind, um, I think Shanique Grant. And also she's been to Olympia. And, uh, uh, uh Alicia, most, some um, say that maybe she would have came second. But, you know, it wasn't so, you know, she won. And especially, you know, you know, she she competed at New York, I think, last year. And, um, she, you know, that same show where Richard Daniels won. And there's talks that, um, some people said that Richard was supposed to be coming back, but I'm hearing some rumors that I think Rachel, if you follow social media, I think Rachel says she's going to sit out this year. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. You know, it just sometimes some ladies might change their mind. They might decide to pick a show, but that's all depending on them. So, you know, I okay, congratulations to Alicia on um, now she has a shot to the Olympia. So good luck to her, and she looks like she, you know, she looks pretty impressive, you know. You know, I, you know, I, I did a video where I said where I saw her, see her, her arms, look at her, her guns. But I think this is one. I think she come in a better package this time. And uh, you know, uh, Lena Danny, uh, Leah Danny, she won the women's division, and congratulations to her. You know, uh, now she has a straight shot to Olympia. So what she probably gonna do? She's gonna get an invite to the. She's gonna put an invitation for the Rising Phoenix, which is you know it's. You know, it's a good thing to do. Or she just say, you know what, let me just sit around, just do some prepping, and just focus on the Olympia. And that's a, also a good idea. Focus on the Olympia. You know, don't, you know, take your time because that's the biggest show you want to do. I mean, and, um, also you got to be careful because, like I said, the New York Pro is in Tampa. And I think you better just, you know, after this, I think all the competitors, all the ladies in the divisions, you should get yourself checked out. Make sure you get yourself tested, you know, just just for safety's sake, because like I said, even though Tampa has, Florida has, you know, opened himself up, 
But like I said, that, like I said, I did a video where I said that there have been women who tested positive for COVID. You know, some people are not using social distancing because, you know, Florida is one of those stupid states that still think that, oh, you know, you know everything's fine. Everything, this disease is still bad. So just be careful. So like I said, congratulations to the women in the physique division. And also, congratulations to the ladies and for your bodybuilding. It's great to finally see female bodybuilding come back to the stage for this year. I mean, especially this, this I've been talking about this should be a show in May because, you know, women bodybuilding, you know, we have, you know other shows have been waiting all the June, but it's great that they had a show this early, you know, for female bodybuilding. And, uh, and one thing is I was hoping that we get more bodies, but, you know, when I was talking with some, some other ladies that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm friendly on social media, the thing is, it's, it's expensive for them. It's expensive for these ladies to compete. And um, also some ladies are still prepping. And um, this looks like some are probably going to shoot for like the Puerto Rico, the Omaha, or the Tampa. Also, I'm talking to some ladies about they might do Savannah also. You know, they'll shoot the shows later, maybe down the month, maybe later down, down the road where they're more ready. Because, you know, this show, I think, for one thing, like I said again, uh, with uh, LaDon, she didn't come in great in her best physique. I think she should have, like I said before, she should have waited for either the Tampa or maybe the Omaha. That probably been a better show for her. But like I said, congratulations to all these And one notable is, um, one lady that was, she, where she, even though she was in the physique division, she placed sixth, where she didn't get showed on the stage because she was sixth. And she's like, you know, in the only sixth place was Miss um, uh, uh, Trisha uh, Verizon, if I could have a name wrong, I'm sorry. And she has, I've followed on social media, and she has an amazing physique. You know, she's a mother, she's a, you know, she's a competitive uh, physique competitor. She competed at the uh, last year's uh, Rising Phoenix and some other shows. And I think she should consider going up to female bodybuilding. I mean, she's impressive. These are just some pics I got from her social media. She's impressive. And I know physique is for the women who are, I said again, who you just don't want to go that, you know, who don't want to go over to bodybuilding because of what they have to go or what they have to do to get to that level. But I think she's at that level. And I think she has the the, the conditioning and the and the shape for female bodybuilding. So and also it's a you know what now I think where things are going right now with uh uh with you know just how the division is kind of an open opportunity. Uh, I think a lot of the more of the bigger stars are who are are either going to do some of the bigger shows like the Tampa to Chicago. You got shows like the Savannah. You got shows like the uh, Omaha, the Puerto Rico, um, the Norfolk. Um, you know, those shows are open opportunities to get uh, maybe a qualification for the Olympia. So I would shoot for one of those shows. Um, the Rising Phoenix is invitational. And if she thinks about it, knowing Jake Wood, he likes a certain type of women, a certain type of physique, she can get invited. You know, it's a good chance of it. So I think um, to uh, uh, Trisha, you know, I think shoot for female bodybuilding. It's an open opportunity. Uh, physique's going to be a bit crowded because there's so many women. And there's a good chance also there's going to be some women coming from um, figure. You know, some say maybe not, but, they're, you know, like I say figure is kind of crowded right now. Physique is getting to the point a lot of women are pushing up, going at the physique. You got people like um, um, uh, Teresa Investic and um, Sheila Black who are dropping down to body build, to physique because, you know, it's it's more opportunities for them than compared to uh, bodybuilding. It's just, it's just, it's just whatever what fits for you. But I think she should really think about going to bodybuilding. So like I say, I want to congratulate all the ladies, all the competitors for the New York Pro. Thanks for putting on a great show. And um, welcome to the return of female bodybuilding to the 2021 season. This is me on the Red Dress page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.